Okay, I can. I can is accounting work, traditional auditing. Their work is assurance and compliance audit. Assurance audit meaning that when you come to an organization, you look at their book, you look at their financial transaction, you see what they are doing. You need to come up to tell them that, okay, this organization is healthy financially. It's okay, it's doing well. This is the reason why Otto Adderson fell. Otto Adderson was auditing Aaron, Aaron Company in U.S. And he certified that Aaron Company was doing well. And the Aaron Company collapsed. That is why government of U.S. sent him out of business. Forever he cannot practice as an accountant. Even in, even in this Nigeria, Deloitte, Akitola Deloitte was, uh, was auditing a cat brewery in Nigeria Limited. And he certified the company healthy. And the company later collapsed. Do you know what SEC did? They fined him 20 million. And he paid. But if it's in the US, they'll send you out of business forever. Do you know why they did not send? They don't have the capacity and ability to detect fraud. And they have not been given mandate to investigate fraud. But they are working to tell whether that, that office is doing well. That is the area of assurance. Number two, compliance. They want to make sure that the preparation of accounting statements and accounting books complies with rules and regulations, which is financial regulation, which is the work of accountants. But the work of forensic auditor is all about fraud, prevention, detection, and investigation. It's all about fraud, fraud of all kinds. Look, accountant will prepare financial statement or book of accounts. They check it, they audit it, and they pass it for payment. But when there is suspicious of fraud, they will now look for forensic auditor, an independent body to come and look at what happened. Is there actually fraud in the book that was prepared by accountant? Yes, there is fraud. How, we, how was the fraud committed? Who are involved? Where did they do it and why did they do it? Our work is all about who, where, why, how, and all of that. After that, when you now know how this fraud was committed, what do you do? We want to put in place some measures to ensure that it will not happen again. This is our work. And when this is done, we will have a balanced economy. Chartered Institute of Forensic and Investigative Auditors of Nigeria will prevent fraud. And having done that, money will be in the government treasury and all of us will enjoy in this country. Your children that will be born tomorrow will have hope and posterity will not forget Sifia. This is the major area of our work. You see, when I had that um, diamond bag collapse the other time, I, I, I was almost crying. Why? Because already shattered this of forensic and investigative auditors of Nigeria is here with us to do this work. And then sentiment has delayed it, if not because of sentiment. We're supposed to be on ground now and be in some of those places when you have forensic auditors in an organization they see the red flag the red flag is sign of fraud when you see sign of fraud what do you do you block the loophole and it will not happen again now where is the place of the people that are saying they are they are also doing accounting they are doing forensic audit? where have they been when our banks collapse in this country and even the recent one collapsed again and they will do nothing and they are still talking that they are, they are doing forensic audit, they are doing forensic accounting. Honestly, this is a greediness and uh, we have to have grown it. Forensic auditor can prevent that thing that, have, that happened and even, even some of those ones that collapsed before, if you have forensic auditors, they will see that fraud. Say accountant, we have accounting firms that are auditing all those banks. They did not see those fraud until the bank collapsed. Brother, let's tell ourselves truth. If these people have mandates or they have the training to prevent fraud, they would have prevented it, but they didn't have it. So this is what we have come. We have come to, to bridge this gap. A huge vacuum we have come to cover.